Hello everyone, welcome to Master to Teach Step by Step Guide. In the previous video, you learned how to host a static website in S3 bucket and auto updates the files and folders from GitHub using code pipeline. In this video, you will learn how to set up Ubuntu server in the AWS cloud using EC2 instance, how to connect the server using the terminal through SSL, how to install Apache on the server. Also, you will learn how to install PHP on it and clone it with GitHub and test the PHP code. I will try my best to explain step by step. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please click on the subscribe button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, let's start. First of all, open the AWS console page. Search for the EC2 and open it. Click on the launch instance. Ok, we will follow step by step. Step 1. Choose an Amazon machine image. Select the operating system as per your requirement as you can see the list of different operating system included different other software as well. We are going to set up Ubuntu server 16.04 LTS server for now. Select it. After selecting the type of server, the next job which is the second step is to choose the specification of the server like its size of RAM, CPU, etc. For now, let's select T2 Micro which contains one core CPU and one GB RAM. Click next to configure instance details. The third step is to configure instance details. The number of instance. We can set up multiple instances as well. For now, only one. Here you can see a lot of options like set up the network in which PPC you want to establish your server, IAM role and many more. In this tutorial, we are not going through these options. We will cover in the next tutorial in details. For now, let's skip it by placing all by default options. The next step is adding storage means hard drive. You can set up as per your requirement. If you are going through the Windows server, it requires a little more space than the Linux server. For now, let's set up 8GB memory which is sufficient for the Linux server. Another option is a volume type. You can choose the type of hard drives like general purpose SSD or provisional IOPS SSD or magnetic type. SSD is expensive and faster than the magnetic hard drive. Let's go with the SSD. Next, the fifth step is adding tags. Use tags to help to distinct the project, like project, learning EC2. User, master to teach. It also helps in the billing system report. Like in billing, we can filter the report according to tags, like how much bill is under this project learning EC2 or how much bill is generated for the user master to teach by these tags. Next. Next is security group. It's all about configuring the security to the system which works as a firewall. We can choose either an existing security group or create our new security group. Let's configure a new security group for now. Security group name EC2 Linux Tutorial. Description. Description. Leave it at it is for now. First one. Yes, yes, yes. For SSS type of connection using TCP protocol in port number 22, if there is any request from any IP address, then allow it. If you are launching web application, then we need to allow connection through HTTP as well. HTTP types of connection using TCP protocol in port number 80, any IP address can access to the web application. We can set up the specific IP as well here to allow the web application to access from that particular IP address only. For example, an online attendance system to do attendance, you have to access from the college IP address, which you have to specify there. That means you can do your attendance from the college internet only. Next step is review. Here is a warning that our server can access from worldwide. Let's review our server detail. We are going to set up our Ubuntu server with one core CPU and one GB RAM. In the security, we allow only for the SSS and HTTP connection set up in this network. 
with 8 GB storage capacity and the tag. Click the launch button. A pop-up to select the key pair appears. A public key placed in the server whereas we have to download the private key which is needed to access this server. Let's create a new key pair. Name master to teach and download it. Launch the instance. Ok, view instance. Ok, it's running now, which means we have successfully set up a server in the cloud. We can access this server from this IP. For now, it will show nothing cause we have nothing in our server. So, let's move further to set up the Apache server so that we can run the PHP in the server. Then, first of all, we need to connect with the server using the key which we have downloaded. Open the terminal. For the Windows user, you can use the party. For all guidance, select the instance and click connect button, where you can see all details step by step to connect the server. Let's follow step by step. Open an SSS client, which is our terminal for us. Locate your private key files. It's in my download folder. The third one, your key must not be publicly viewable for SSS to work. Let's check the permission for now. Admin can rewrite, the group can read it, through the network can read it. We have to change the permission for which here is the command for us. Copy it and paste to run. This command will remove the read permission for others and even admin can't change the files. Let's check it. Ok, now only I can read the files, other can't. Ok. Moving to the fourth one. Connect to your instance using its public DNS. Either you can copy and paste it to connect the server. Or SSS-I master to teach. PM Ubuntu at the red IP address. Connecting through SSH. Here, private key act as a password. Ubuntu has default username as Ubuntu at the red public IP. We can use public DNS as well. Sure to connect S. Yes. Now you can see we are inside the Ubuntu server connected successfully. So far up to now, we have done. We set up a Ubuntu server in the AWS cloud. We ran the server. We connect the server using the terminal through SSH. Now we are going to install Apache for the web server so that we can run the PHP code. Update the server. sudo apt get update. Install Apache. sudo apt get install Apache 2. Are you sure? Ok, yeah. Ok, successfully install the Apache in the server. Furthermore, let's install the PHP including some libraries. sudo apt get install PHP live Apache 2 dash mode dash php php encrypt php dash mysql we have successfully installed the php as well let's restart the apache server sudo server apache to restart now let's move to place a few php code for that we need to access the html folder cd bar www slash html which is located at bar www html folder now let's create a new php file in the server sudo nano test.php opens the text editor write the php code for now i am going to write php library function php info 
which gives all the details about the install PHP. Press Ctrl plus O to write out. Press Ctrl plus X to exit. We can view the file content using command cat test.php. Let's refresh the page. Here you can see the file. Click on it. Here are all details about the PHP that we have installed on the server. In this way, we can set up a Ubuntu server in the AWS cloud and install Apache and PHP to run the PHP on the server. Let's upload all the files and folders on the server from the GitHub. Add a new repo. PHP. Let's open new terminal. My PHP file is in my desktop. Paste the code and enter. Now clone the git. sudo git clone github url. Master to teach. Password. Ok done. Let's check in the browser. Ok fine. Let's check it. List. cd php. List. Ok fine. In this way, we can set up the Ubuntu server in Amazon Cloud, install Apache and PHP to run the PHP code and clone to GitHub to upload the files and folder easily. I hope you learned from this video tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. Also, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching. Check us out for more in IT tutorial and guide on website master2teach.com and we will see you again soon. Bye.